Hey guys, Bracketbox here. Today I wanted to do a slightly different video. This will be a quick video, but a lot of people have asked me how and what shader I am using when playing Kenchi. I honestly could not play this game without the shader now, as it makes the game pleasingly beautiful to the eye. So I'm going to show you where to get it, how to install it, and exactly what changes I've made on the shader, so you can get the same experience as I do when playing this amazing game. So the shader that I'm using is Kenchi 2 Reshade Reimagined, and I'll leave a link to this website in the description. There is also instructions on this page of how to download this shader, but I'm just going to show you. What you want to do is go onto the files, and two option files for this download will come up. They're pretty self-explanatory, but if you're using the vanilla UI that comes with the game, you choose the top one. And if you're like me and have a dark UI mod added through the workshop, you pick the bottom one. If you want to check out the dark UI mod, I'll also leave that workshop link in the description. Now if you have not used Nexus mods before, then make sure you create an account as you'll need one to download anything on their website. It's completely free, so don't worry. You need to click manual download, then slow download because you're using a free account but it does not take long to finish downloading at all. Once you have done this, open the file up. You need to have WinRAR also installed, so I'll leave a link for that also in the description. But when you open the file up with WinRAR, you are going to extract everything in the folder to your Kenchi directory. override if prompted to do so. Once this is done you are ready to start playing with your new shader. If you have done everything correctly the shader should appear in your mods list before starting the game. You also want to make sure your SSAO box is ticked in your Kenchi graphics settings. If it is then place the mod at the top of your list and start the game. While Kenchi is loading you should see the shader installing at the top of the game. When you get to the menu just go into any new or save game. Just as a side note I would increase the font size in your settings as it makes the UI stand out nicer and would recommend adding the font redux mod in the workshop which I'll leave a link in the description for. Now that you're in your game the shader is most probably active and you would have noticed the graphical changes that it has made. You can turn the shader on and off by pressing the insert button on your keyboard and to get the shader settings up you press the home button. You can exit the shader by pressing the home button again. The boxes ticked are the effects used to make the shader, but as you can see there are loads of different effects to choose from. The website where you downloaded the shader shows the effects used and the order they go in. You can move the effects up and down the list, like the Kenchi mod order, the bottom of the list overwrites the top. Now I have changed a few settings slightly and removed and added my own effects but I downloaded this mod to get the shader base. You can play around with the shader yourself to get your preference, but if you want the exact same look as I have, copy the effects of the order I have set. Now that you have them ticked and in order with the effects you want to use, you can change each effect using the bottom box, which will list all the effect settings that you're using currently, you can move this box to make it bigger. Now as mentioned, if you're going to be copying the exact same settings that I have, I'm going to move slowly down these settings so you can copy the effect settings changes that I have made. Once you are happy with how the game looks, press the home button and you're set to go. I hope this video has helped you on getting Kenchi World looking even more awesome. As always, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. But that's all from me today. I'll see you in the next video. Rack it out.